welcome back to Dr. Sam in the City. Hi. I'm here with Emma and we are chatting about things from the clinic but also um, I saw this really interesting piece in the Times um, recently talking about um, telomere length and aging. Mm. Now what was interesting about this was that the things that we often give our patients guidance on in terms of making their skin look great from a sort of holistic point of view actually make you live longer. Yeah. So telomeres, um, you do know what I'm talking about, don't you? Do I know what a telomere is? Six years <laughs> at medical school. Okay, she asks fine. Tell the people what a telomere is, just in case they don't know. Okay, so I'm not an absolute expert on telomeres, <laughs> but an amazing analogy that we were taught um, in medical school was that your genetic material, your chromosomes, your DNA, are all wound up a bit like a shoelace. And at the end of the shoelace, you know you've got that plastic capping bit which actually protects the end of the shoelace from fraying? Mm -hmm. That's your telomere. Yeah, and those are really important, aren't they? In really terms important. of cell division. So each time your cells divide, the chromosomes get replicated, and the telomere stops the genetic material from getting degraded, but you lose a bit of telomere length yeah. when you divide your cells. So ultimately, telomere length determines longevity. Exactly, exactly. Cells are amazing, like the amount of times that they do have to divide and then the mistakes that could happen. So actually the telomere is there to actually prevent any mistakes, sort of mops up any damage. But yeah. like you say, every time it, it divides, it shortens and shortens and shortens. So your cell only has a certain lifespan. Um, and like you say, the longer your telomere is, the better your cells age. And that's something that we think is probably largely controlled by inheritance in terms of how long they are to start off but what yeah. is interesting is what you can do to preserve the telomeres that you get given don't exactly. you think it's making the most of yourself which exactly. is, is is the key to life isn't it and what i think is um we're going to talk about the physical things that you can do but what i think is so interesting is how much your mind your mental mindset yeah. potentially influences um your telomere length um and i think this has been studied in numerous different groups but they did a study on civil servants and actually discovered that a hostile attitude <laughs> potentially affect a telomere length by up to 30%. I think I think it is something that's been around for a while. So people even in, in things like, for example, in cancer, people thinking about your sort of, your, your view optimism. to things. Exactly. Yeah. actually has a significant impact on how you're going to, to survive or, you know, in terms of things like um, if you have chronic pain, the way that you um, approach things actually is hugely, hugely important. And we see that quite a bit as well. I think, I think the, the more positive your mindset, the more likely you are to have a good outcome. So although it is an amazing new sort of finding, it doesn't 100% surprise me. No, it bears out what we've always yeah. suspected, I think. That's absolutely right. But let's just talk through some of the things then I found interesting in mm -hmm. terms of influencers. So um, so that mindset thing I thought was super important and also yeah. keeping calm um, because persistent low-level anxiety. So activation yes. of the system which in the past protected us from being eaten by dinosaurs yes. but now yeah, might be activated anymore. by someone going in front of you in the coffee queue in the morning. You know, I think if you are quite a naturally reactive type of a person, which mm. I'd say that includes myself. Me? Me? No. I, I think yeah. that's, you know, that to learn to let those little things go and be generally a bit more relaxed. Um, which I think is hugely, hugely important. We're getting there. Getting there. Self-awareness is the first step, right? 100%. 100%. Um, now, what else was there here? Um, sleep, not surprising. Yeah, love a bit of sleep. More sex, probably not that surprising. <laughs> it's good yeah. for, you know, human race as a general thing, but apparently it's also good for you on an individual level. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, what else? Having a sense of purpose. So these are things I think it's nice to know that almost like being a good, calm person has a physiological has reward, yeah. yeah um, then going on to sort of um, health, fitness and well-being, um, exercise, obviously very important for yeah. general wellness, great for skin health. Um, and I think it shows that your skin really is the billboard for mm. how well you are right. inside. Um, and when you work hard in a kind of holistic way, generally speaking, it does reflect in yeah. your skin's health. The diet one was interesting, um, naturally avoiding processed foods. Processed food, the scourge of our society at the moment. Yeah, pretty much. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is going to have a negative impact on telomere length. Good news though, glass of wine is okay. Yes. A glass now, mine, not yes, the bottle. Exactly. I recently gave a talk on the 
the, the effect of smoking and alcohol on your skin. And smoking is just bad, bad, bad. I mean, just yeah. do not smoke if you want your skin Acne to Acne and aging. I mean, what just- What else do you need to know, it, right? But just everything. Mm. Like, literally, there isn't one part of your body that smoking doesn't touch. But actually, looking at the evidence for alcohol affecting your skin, as long as you're not drinking you know, above the recommended allowance, that there isn't really that much evidence. So my sort of take home message in my talk was, don't drink because you think it's gonna improve your skin, but a little bit of drinking here and there. Is For okay. a sense of well-being and child yeah, leave, not exactly. too bad. Quality of life. We think quality of life is very 80, 20 important. 80-20 rule. Very Caffeine. important. Um, interestingly also, espresso, caffeine, up to four cups a day is no okay. I know, no well, that's more about my kind of, you know, then that feeds into my fight or flight response. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which really does get activated after two flat whites. <laughs> We're all in trouble, get a bit strident. But also good green tea. Oh, it's all about lowering yeah. oxidative stress, which we know is good for fine lines and wrinkles prevention. Mm -hmm. So I'm all for a, a cup of green tea after a meal. I think that's yeah. actually quite a good way of reducing the free radical, free radical? Free radical damage you might get from consuming calories. Um, now it is good to know that you can, you don't have to live a completely puritanical lifestyle. Because yeah. I, for one, don't think it's. I, I don't think I could do that. No. So actually, being able to have a few things that you do enjoy interspersed with some really healthy things actually is is the key to a happy life. Completely. Um, and as if to support that, colourful rainbow type yeah. diet. Get your antioxidants from berries, from kale, um, from foods, sweet potato, yeah. from things that are brightly coloured, omega-3s, this is stuff that we give our patients yeah, guidance on because it's great for both pigmentation prone skin, acne prone skin, and just for general mm -hmm. maintaining a healthy barrier function. Um, and don't yo-yo diet. How important no, is that? Really important. Mm -hmm. So that's been thought to have quite a significant shortening um, effect on your telomeres, but also terrible for your skin as well. Mm. And particularly as you get older as well. Volume, losing right? volume is, mm. but yo-yo dieting is just ridiculous. In general, I think don't diet, you know, actually just eat really healthily, retrain your, your taste buds so that you're not eating processed foods. And that's a much more sustainable way of being and healthy. move a bit more. Yeah. Um, great, what else? So mind stuff, again, breathing, um, being self-aware and a young mental state. Thinking young, um, yeah, positive attitude. Yeah, I think that's probably the main take home message that I got from this, because I think we knew the stuff about diet and exercise, but I think I really do feel that actually addressing that sort of negative inner critic that we all have at times, particularly as women when it comes to looking at our faces in the mirror, and we've been doing a little bit of this recently ourselves, <laughs> so we're kind of nodding vigorously, and just being kinder to ourselves. Um, I think that's the key to a happy life, isn't it? I think often you do have to tell people when they come and see you, um, although you want to make the best of yourself, which of course we all do, sometimes I do say to people, I mean, you're lovely, look, and you know, people yeah. are not celebrating all the amazing stuff about themselves, and we should do that more. Completely. Yeah. Well, that's a bit virtuous this morning, but um, it was interesting to us, so I hope it's interesting yeah. to you guys too. Um, thank you for um, shooting the breeze with me today. Um, I'm sorry, there might be a slight drilling sound in the background. We have had some problems with builders recently. Um, forgive. It. Anyway. Have um, a great day. Hope we have invigorated. <laughs> Bye for now.